Hey, welcome back to Lesson 5. We're looking at multiplying rational exponents. Remember, a rational exponent is just a fraction in the exponent. So let's look at how to multiply these. Okay, we're going to start off right here with problem 1. And that is 2 to the 2 thirds power times 2 to the 4 thirds power. Okay, we're multiplying what we consider like bases. Our bases are both 2. So our base will not change, it will remain 2. And one of the big mistakes students make, they want to multiply those together to get 4, and we're not going to. We're going to just keep the base. But what we're going to do, when you multiply like bases, we're going to do a step lower in operation. We're actually going to add the exponents. So I'm going to take the 2 thirds plus the 4 thirds power, and I'm going to add that together to simplify it. And that ends up being 2 to the 6 thirds power. Well, 2 to the 6 thirds, that just reduces, doesn't it? This one reduces to 2, so 2 squared. So that answer actually simplifies all the way down to 4. But the problem, what I'm trying to present, is when you have like bases, you add the exponents together. And then from there, you just simplify if you can. Okay, so let's look at one with variables. We have x to the 1 8 times x to the 5 8 times x to the 1 8th. Okay, if we use the same rule, we're going to keep our base, so it's still going to be an x, and then we're going to add the exponents. 1 8th plus 5 8th plus 1 8th, that adds to 7 8th. Now this exponent won't simplify, so the answer is just x to the 7 8th, 7 8th, and we've just kept our base. Okay, so let's look at some that may have different types of exponents. Okay, let's look at this one where we're going to have 2 to the 3 fourths times 2 to the 1 third. Okay, now we have like bases, don't we? So we know the base is going to stay 2. But remember, when we multiply like bases, we're going to add the exponents. So we're going to add 3 fourths plus 1 third. Well, in order to add fractions, don't we need a common denominator? So let's go down here for a second, and we're going to add 3 fourths and 1 third, and our common denominator is 12. So I'm going to have to multiply this one by 3, so that's 9 thirds, plus multiply this fraction by 4, so that's going to be 4 twelfths. Now let's add it together, and I get 13 twelfths, okay? So that exponent is now 13 twelfths. So the final answer would be 2 to the 13 twelfths. Okay? And that's how you simplify those rational exponents that have like bases but different uh, denominators. And that's the next part of what we're looking at. Okay, so now let's look at some that may be radicals, may be in a radical form. In other words, they have that square root symbol. So let's look at this one. Okay, 2, or I'm sorry, the cube root of 7 times the cube root of 2. Okay, now these cube roots also mean 7 to the 1 -third and 2 to the 1 -third. Okay, we can't um, combine those because they're both, they have different bases. But we can actually put them together under radical because they're both cube roots. So I can simplify that to the cube root of 14. Now we know that the cube root of 14 only breaks down to 2 times 7, so you can't simplify that, but that would be the answer, okay? And that's how you would work that problem. Okay, now let's look at one that may do a little, um, let's look at one that may have a little bit simpler form. Okay, what if we had the cube root of 9 times the cube root of 9? Okay, a couple ways you can do this one. Well, we have the same root. So I can go ahead and multiply the 9 and the 9 together, and I get the cube root, and the cube root doesn't change, 
of 81, because 9 times 9 is 81, so you're going to multiply the bases together. And then we know that 81 is just 9 times 9, and that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and then I can take a group of 3 out, right? So that ends up being 3 cube root of 3. And there you go. Okay, why can we do that thinking about radicals? Because this is 9 to the 1 3rd times 9 to the 1 3rd. Well, that becomes 9 to the 2 thirds. Okay, well, 9 to the 2 thirds is the same thing as taking 9 and squaring it. So if I take 9 and I square it, I get 81. But remember, this base means a cube root, so I have to take the cube root of that answer. Well, the cube root of 81 is 3 cube root 3. So just the exponential or the rational way to look at it or the square root way to look at it. I want you to be able to see both. Okay, the last concept we need to look at in this lesson is raising bases to exponents. Okay, so let's say you have y to the two-thirds all to the five halves. Okay, so we're now taking a base and we've got an, a rational exponent, but then we have another rational exponent that we're raising that to. Well, the rule is we're going to multiply these fractions together or the exponents together. So I'm going to have 5 to the 2 thirds times 5 halves, or that's what, 10 sixth, or reduces to 5 thirds. Okay, so that becomes y to the 5 thirds, and that would be our answer. Okay, so we're just going to take and multiply our fractions together when we're raising to exponents. So look, let's look at one that might have actually two different ones. Okay, what if you have x to the one half times x to the three fourths all raised to the second? Wow, that's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically just give that square out to both of these. So you're going to get x to the 1 half times 2 over 1, because that 2 is a 2 over 1, times x to the 3 fourths times 2 over 1. So let's simplify that. Well, x, that would be x to the first power, or just x, right? And this would be x to the 6 over 4. Okay, 6 fourths. Now we're not done because we have like bases. So we can add these together. So we need a common denominator, and our common denominator is 4. So 1 can become 4 fourths. And now I can add my exponents, and that's going to be 6 to the 10 fourths, or the 5 halves. So that's just x to the 5 halves, and that would be the final answer. Okay, so that's how you would handle that one. They had like bases, so we could have actually added them first and then squared it, or we can square each one and then add that final answer. So it's up to you which direction you want to go, and that's how you handle those. So remember, if you have like bases, you're going to add exponents. So like bases, you're going to add the exponents when you're multiplying. So x to the 1 half times x to the 3 halves equals x to the 4 halves, or just x squared, right? So there's an example of that. So when you have, you're multiplying like bases, and I should say that this is multiplying. So when you're multiplying like bases, you add the exponents. When you have, when instead of multiplying, what if you're raising to a power like bases, or just raising to a power with exponents, you're going to have y to the 3 fifths all to the 1 sixth. We're going to multiply the exponents. So y to the 3 thirtieths or 1 tenth. Okay? And that's how you would write it, y to the one-tenth power. Okay, so those are the kind of two rules in this lesson. And then the last rule is just writing it as a radical. 